Hey guys, it's Helena Supreme, and before I continue, I just want to say excuse outside, people out here partying. I'm not partying. I got school tomorrow morning, and it's 12 o'clock at night, and I'm wilding out. But what I wanted to do is I wanted to come up here, and I wanted to talk about something that I was talking with my sisters with, just what I talk about on a regular basis. Which is about transforming uh, old patterns into better patterns. Whatever you ever went through as a child in those programs that was ever installed in new programs, I mean, what your mama said, what your cousin said, what your daddy did, what everybody did, what everyone told you growing up. Once it's in your mind, your psyche, this becomes your reality because you are literally creating your reality. It's right here. So why you meet the people you meet, why they do the things you, they do to you, why? This, it's so important how your child is brought up because that is their life. Why, why do I meet the people I meet? Why do they do the same thing all the time why is that my pet peeve and I keep running into it because we don't attract what we want we track how we feel we really are what we think we are like no exaggerations okay what how do you find out what people told you you gotta trust yourself look deep within yourself and once you find out the problems, you got to do what you do with any problem. Clear it. Now, what I tell everyone is, listen, you're a computer database. That's, your brain is like a database. So everything that you don't want in that database, you got to clear it out. So what I like to do is I say, source, I ask you to clear this program and replace it with, you know, love, pure love and self-love and self-reliance and another thing since um i've had bonded issues i felt like i was attached to people i let go of my attachment to people and i replace it with i'm bonded to source because we all are actually bonded to source so we can never lose anything and we can never gain anything because we never had anything to gain in the beginning. Because we have everything and we have nothing. Have a dark night or few or, or years, okay? Have a few dark nights thinking about what went wrong in your childhood because everything that happened in your childhood is why you're here now. We attract everything that we know. So if you don't know it, you don't know it exists, so it's not in your database, so it's not gonna pop up. All these things are important. This is exactly how the mind works. If all you knew was that men was abusive, that's what you attract, abusive men. But you gotta clear that program. And I know you've seen people, men who aren't abusive. You don't have to always be with abusive men. You know what a non-abusive men look like. Now you have to clear the program to get away from what you don't want. And then in turn, have yourself feel what you do want. The heart was the first organ created. The stomach was the first brain. The, the third eye, the pineal gland, that's responsible for your entire well-being. So many things. So many, so many, you, you don't know. It's all of it. All of it. Everything is literally everything, okay? So everything is right there or right, you know. It's just that when it comes to energies, we see the energies in different sections because, like, you know, like, all right, that's a whole other discussion. Your childhood. Think of everything you learned in your childhood. Then without saying this is right or wrong, think about how it made you feel. Because we were the smartest things when we first came out so smart we knew everything without knowing that we knew everything that was the greatest thing ever okay and 
we knew how to fail, we knew how to treat people, we knew how to do a bunch of things, right? Then people came along and then showed us, like, mad other stuff and then get mad at us because we showed them who they are. So then it's like, why am I, what, why am I getting punished? Because I'm showing you who you are, like, and we do that so much. So for you not to stay here and punish yourself all the time by hating who you are and other people, let's do this, okay? Get rid of the programs. That's what I'm doing. It took me 20 years to realize that I got these programs, so I'm not expecting this to happen tomorrow. But when I get rid of these programs, and I'm going to tell you about it, okay? So I'm going I'm to I'm come out with everything one day, okay? It's going to be exclusive, okay? It's only going to be for y'all and for me and for the future and for the past and for right now. It's going to be for all of it. You feel me? I hope you understand what I'm saying, you know? Like, it's very important for you to do that for yourself, okay? Like, if you don't do anything for yourself, free yourself from the programs that was put on you. And there's so many programs. Like, once you start finding out one, you won't find out another one. You won't find another one that was attached to the other one. You won't find out so many programs. You're going to be so occupied with yourself. You're going to be like, who's Sarah? Sarah did what? Who is this girl? Like, she was talking about me? Why is she talking about herself? You're going to start saying that because she's talking about herself, okay? Listen, it's real out here. We are all reflections. You running into yourself. I'm dead serious. Like... Anybody you associate with and you're like, nah, they crazy, stuff like that. You're running into yourself, man. Like this, the things that, the conflicts that you keep running into, the reason why you keep running into it is because you got to face something within yourself that you're not aware of consciously. But subconsciously, the program out here, like, this is what it is. This is all it is. And you got to teach the subconscious, this is not all it is. I want to take this out, and I want you to do this. Bang. And then your subconscious is going to be like, okay, that's what we're going to do. But you got to learn how to take it out. See, there's, there's a lot to it. There's not, it's not like, it's one, two, three, but everything simple comes with levels. Okay? So you got to keep pulling out the levels. My best friend says it's like unpeeling an onion. You got to get to the core of it. Yeah, you got to keep digging and get to the core of it. The objective is love. Unconditional love, okay? That is the objective. That is the theme for your life. That's all you're trying to do, have unconditional love. And then whatever else you want on top of it. If you guys ever want to talk about something, listen. The thing is... You guys ever want to talk about something and you can remain anonymous. I don't care what your name is or nothing. You feel like you need help with something. Check out my description box below where you can email me. You can check out one of my social medias. Don't hit me up with hey, okay? All right, because you hit me up with hey, I'm going to just be like, okay, that's, you know what? Mm -mm. Check out... Check out my email. That's like the spot where I know you're legit serious that you want to talk about something. Or if you do go to my Facebook, don't say hey. Say like, one love. All right. So put, <laughs> all right. So put one love at the top. Then you could just, you know, tell me everything that you want to tell me. You know, things like that. Um, I'll keep everything confidential. Like, you don't, I don't. I'm not here. See, I'm focusing on myself. And nine times out of ten, if you hit me up with something, it's probably something I got to look at for myself. Okay? Like, because we all reflections. So, you know what? Hit me up if you feel me be. Okay? And we can we can go over this together. Um, I want to be there because I want to be there for myself. And I want to be there for you because... We, we, we are everything and nothing at the same time. We are the stars in the sky and we are the night in the space, okay? We are everything. We are the planet. I, I want to be where you at, which is where I'm at, okay? <laughs> so, 
um, you know, and if you want to figure this out yourself, you know what I'm saying? If you have any questions, comment below. You know, you can always comment. Listen, YouTube. YouTube, you can always inbox me on YouTube, okay? So, inbox me on YouTube. Inbox me on Facebook. Email me, especially. Those are the three things. Those three things you do, you'll get my attention. I'll check you out, see what's happening. And I'll put my heart into whatever I'm saying. And I'll put my mind into whatever I'm saying. I'm going to be both, okay? I'll give you both. All right, because we're going to go, we going to work through this together. OK, so it's a journey, but, you know, one love. All right. All I have to say, word is bond. One love. Peace.